The issues keep trickling down. With every closing mine in eastern Kentucky, the impact reaches far beyond the miners. From less money in a family's bank account to the local diner losing business. Just last week, U.S. Coal announced the final surviving mine in McGoffin County would be idled. WYMT's Alex Casper-Pete spoke to some folks who are worried how the shutdown will affect the economy. For years, we have heard about the booms and busts of the coal industry. The latest shutdown of a mine in McGoffin County will bring a lasting economic impact. Salyersville Mayor Pete Shepard calls it a ripple effect. The county appropriates us so much coal severance money, and at one time we bought a fire truck with it, and we uh, work on our waterworks with it and our sewer systems with it, and uh, it's going to hurt us because we don't have that money now, so we'll have to pick it up somewhere else. And while the mine closing does leave nearly 150 coal miners without a job, it also affects many in the community. If there's no work, uh, I just I don't know what the people of this area, I just don't know, don't know what we're going to do. We've never been faced with this before, and uh, I just don't know what we're going to do. John Salyer employs nearly 70 people who transported coal for the mine, leaving him to find a new contractor to keep his employees working. It's pretty much just about impossible to find other other avenues to find other jobs to uh, to uh, go to at this time. It's it's really a tough situation for a lot of people. Those looking for a job in the area may find it difficult to earn a paycheck. Unless we get some kind of industry or somebody to come in and, and open up a business, there's really no no place for these people to work in McGoffin County at this time. As coal leaves the economy of yet another county in need in McGoffin County, Alex Casper Peak WYMT Mountain News. Officials hope the work shaping our Appalachian region or SOAR is doing will help the economy.